Morning, peeps. Let's read a minute. This was written by E.G. White. The verse for today is Matthew 6, 29. Even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Christ taught his disciples that the measure of divine attention bestowed on any of God's work is proportionate to the rank which that object occupies in the scale of creation. The little brown sparrow, apparently the most inferior of birds, is watched over by providence. Not one falls to the ground without the notice of our Heavenly Father. The flower of the field, the grass which clothes the earth with vineyard, all share the notice and care of our Heavenly Father. Behold the fowls of the air, Christ said, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather they into barns, yet your Heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin, and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. That's found in Matthew 6, 26 through 29. If the lilies of the field are objects upon which the great master artist has bestowed care, making them so beautiful that they outrival the glory of Solomon, the greatest king that ever wielded a scepter, if the grass of the field is made into beautiful carpet for the earth, can we form any idea of the regard which God bestows upon humanity? Who was formed in his image? God has given human beings intellect in order that they may comprehend greater things than these beautiful objects in nature. He carries the human agent into a higher department of truth, leading the mind higher and still higher and opening them into the divine mind. In the book of God's providence, the volume of life, each one is given a page. That page contains every particular of his history. Even the hairs of his head are numbered. God's children are never absent from his mind. And though sin existed for ages, seeking to counteract the merciful tide of love flowing from God to the human race, yet the love and care that God bestows upon the beings he has created in his own image, has not ceased to increase in richness and abundance. He crowned his benevolence by the inestimable gift of Jesus. That's very good for obvious reasons. I mean, it's so phenomenal. You know, nature, to me, nature means tons. Uh, the beauty out there is so important to me. It's so cathartic and relaxing the beautiful pink sunrises, ev just everything is so wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. And I know that he created this world to be a beautiful place for us. And all of the little items of nature, the sparrow, those are just things to help sustain this world and us. His pistola resistance was us. I mean, how much more exciting can that be? <laughs> okay, I got a couple of songs for you. You ready? <clears throat> the first one is Here I Am to Worship. It's by Jeremy Camp. And the second one is Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin. If you go and actually listen to those, listen to the words. I, it's amazing. God's amazing. And his love for us is even more amazing. <laughs> I got my book. Good morning, Heavenly Father. I thank you so much for the nature that you have made for each one of us to look at and observe and enjoy. I thank you that you know the hairs on my head and, and care enough about me to even put this beautiful existence for us. I'm looking forward to heaven where it's supposed to be even way more exciting. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones not in the book. Please wrap your love around them Show them your nature and how you care for them. I'm bringing this all up to you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. 
please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.